This is my friend, Cynthia Norton. She is a famous <laughs> fabric textile artist that transforms things into amazing other things. So, Cynthia, tell me about your inspiration for your unique work. Well, it's usually the fabrics. Um, it can be a lot of it. I mean, it can be all kinds of things. It can be, a, you know, a, the way that, I don't know, it can be anything from nature. It can be a lot of things. But initially, often, it's the fabric that I buy and transform in one way or another. And there's lots and lots of different kinds of fabrics that I work with. This is a crinkle silk. This is a silk organza. So that's a stretchy textured fabric. That's a sheer flat fabric. Mm, this yeah. is a, um, I guess I don't remember what that is actually. <laughs> a, but it has a bit of a luster and it's it's got a warp and weft that are two different colors, so that gives it... But all these colors you painted... Yeah, I mean, the initial fabric, fabric was the, just the gray, but you can see it's... Yeah. That's sort of how it looked. So it had a bit of a luster to start with, and then I did this... Added all this textural stuff to it by painting. And then this is a sheer silk chiffon, a very sheer drapey fabric, and um, it's a piece that I'm, I've done a, repeatedly... Ooh, I love that one. Partly because I just got a good image of it. It's hard to get a good image on a, that goes on a postcard. But mm. anyway, so there's a piece, a version of it hanging on the wall that I'm about to start painting. Ooh, let's so, see So, this is how but it But on works. the way over, I just want to show you, this is the way an artist studio looks. <laughs> this, I mean, really? Couldn't you just love any of this on a dress or a jacket? Yeah. Okay, so... I what do we got here? Just a bunch of, what kind of paints are these? This is um, fabric paint, so what oh. it does is it binds to the fiber of the paint, of the fabric, right. once it's heat set, which I do by putting it in the oven. So, So. Um, let's see what she's going to make let's, out of Let's see, so now, here's what happens. Oh, cool. Take, these are all paints I just mixed so hopefully they'll have the right consistency to go merrily dripping down the, fa the fabric. So what kind of fabric is this? This is silk chiffon. Wow and where do you get your fabrics? Well this one <gasps> wow. comes from China. There's a company that sells to you know small artisans like me and you can buy five yards or five thousand yards or whatever. That's and then you a, just let it drip and look at her shoes. Yeah, I just let it drip. That's how. That's one of the ways the floor gets to looking like that. Cool. So that just dries like that. Yeah. You're going to cover this whole jacket with this. Yes. And why is it shiny like this? What is Because that? it's wet. It won't be shiny after it dries. Oh, I mean inside the fabric. Shows. Oh, because I have plastic inside so that the, so that the paint doesn't... <gasps> leak over to the front of the piece. So how do you take care of this? What do you do? Well, they all go in the washer and dryer. I mean, this one... Really? This one is... It's The paint is no problem to, in the washer or in hand over machine washing either way. The paint won't be affected. This particular fabric will be a pain to iron after you've washed it. It won't melt the paint if you try it do, to iron it? It does not... No, it doesn't. The paint is... Is designed, you know, to withstand that. So that's why it's called fabric paint, right? Yes, yes, it is. Oh. So then you mix it with water. So I, I've added water to this to give it a hopefully the right consistency for it to drip down like it's doing. Oh, it's right. But you don't match anything, so the other sleeve won't look like this sleeve. Right. I mean, it, I try to balance it, but not match it. Yeah. So I'm looking for symmetry within or asymmetry within symmetry, I guess. So where would we find your pieces to buy them? Well... <gasps> oh, that's cool. Um, there's one store in New York that carries my work, and that is called Ann On, and it's at 76th and Madison. Good good place. Yeah. And then you have an And then email. I do... I, you know, I obviously sell out of my studio, and I have craft shows that I do in the summer. And that looks like fun. I have one store in uh, Scottsdale that I sell to sometimes. Hmm. So this is one of those things objects. you wouldn't want to try at home, right? Because <laughs> look, I don't. Right, I mean, you, not unless you 
I mean, you make it look like, you know, that, you know, okay, I could just take some paint and just... And maybe you could. No, I don't think so. I think the, the most creative, talented people make what they're doing look simple when it's not. That's possible. Yeah. I mean, it is sort of about controlling the accidents. Like, I kind of want this sort mm -hmm. of thing to happen. Mm -hmm. But if I, when I cross over this drip with that drip, it might or might not you know, drip all the way down and cover up the blue or meld into the blue or pass over the blue. You know, you never know exactly, but. Which is a good accident. So yeah. then when you get this all painted, what's the next step? Turn it around and paint the other side. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously I have to let it dry. Right. And then um, once it's dry, then it gets folded up and stuck into a pan and goes into the oven. And then it has to get ironed, which in this case is quite the pain in the ass, but... Why do you um, have to iron it? I mean, what does that do? Oh, you know, because, you know, when you fold something and heat it, you don't want the creases and... Oh, okay. You know, that's... Sort of How high do you heat them? I mean, what's the temperature? 225. Oh, so you've got this down, girl. Yep. So when did you start making these? I mean, was it an accident or...? Uh, kind of. I mean, I started painting... For some reason, I started painting t-shirts. Because mm. I was trying to do dance, and that wasn't working out. And <laughs> My friend said, oh, it was, this is fantastic. You have to try to, you have to sell these and so on. And so T-shirts became scarves, became clothing. And whenever you first started, were you trying to make a design, or did you do this kind of like freeform things then? I would say, yeah, I took a similar approach. Mm. So freeform. I want to show you now some of her pieces in the other room. 